Nigerian Army Combat Service Training Week 2021. Governor Obaseki joined body with the Chief of Army Staff to commission the new Muhammad Buhari Auditorium. Governor Godwin Obaseki don't join body with the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, and some other Ogbonga people turned out for SNT Barak for the Combat Service Training Week. Oga Governor talks say when he first come here for February, and I based on the commissioning and renaming of the officer mess in memory of the fallen officer, late Brigadier General K. H. Yakubu. During that Ogbunga occasion, a state governor talks in them go build a 20-room accommodation for the school. And as little as it be, him saying that opportunity for Edo State government and the people of Edo to appreciate the Nigerian army and the school for their help to make sure say we they secure for Edo State. Oga Governor come talk say in they happy say them invite him to this year Combat Service Award Training Week as a special guest of honor and talk say this training will help them build the capacity in the field of logistics in the Nigerian Army operations. I recall that my earlier visit to this school precisely on the 8th of February this year was for the commissioning and renaming of the officer's mess in memory of the fallen officer late Brigadier General K. H. Yakubu. During that occasion, the Edo State Government announced that it would construct a 20-room student accommodation for this school. As little as it is, it was an opportunity for the government of Edo State and for Edo people to appreciate the Nigerian Army and indeed the school for the immense contributions toward the peace and security in Edo State. The people of Edo State will continue to align with and appreciate the Nigerian Army and this school in particular because we are aware that there cannot be any meaningful socioeconomic development in any part of the world, including our state without some people making selfless sacrifices towards ensuring our peace and security. It is in recognition of the sacrifices of our disciplined Nigerian Army soldiers and officers that Edo State will continue to find ways and means to contribute its quota, not only towards the development of this school, but to all the Nigerian army formations in Edo State. Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, talks say for this Ogbunga occasion of the Combat Service Training Week, him say reflect another milestone to make sure say the Nigerian army as an institution will pay attention with the training of their personnel. Today's event represents yet another milestone in our resolve to ensure that the Nigerian army as an institution is greater attention to the training of its personnel. I'm conscious of the role of the combat service support force in modern warfare. Today, like before, logistics remains one of the most essential ingredients for success in war. Our experiences in the Northeast and other theaters have driven home to us the essence of effective logistics in all operations, including counter-terrorism, counter-insurgency, as well as internal security operations. I make bold to state that any army that neglects logistics does so at its own period. It's against this background that army headquarters under my watch would continue to prioritize effective logistics planning and also encourage logistics calls in the areas of training procurement of essential logistic equipment and their maintenance with a view to upgrading their capabilities, skills and competencies toward meeting our operational requirements to tackle our numerous security challenges. Given the volatile, uncertain and complex operational environment the Army operates in today, our manpower capability is continuously being stretched, thereby presenting new challenges that require tact, ingenuity, and innovation to tackle. 
It is therefore expedient for the Nigerian army to continue to improve on its existing structure while also developing more efficient means of addressing all contemporary and emerging challenges. It is in view of this that I find the theme of the Combat Service Support Training Room 2021, which is providing effective combat service support for the Nigerian Army to accomplish assigned missions in a joint environment, expedient and timely. The theme aptly fits into my vision of having a professional Nigerian Army ready to accomplish assigned missions within a joint environment in defense of Nigeria. I therefore charge you to use this training week to come up with ways, means, and methods of improving our competencies and effectiveness in the provision of logistic support to the Nigerian Army. More than ever before in our history, the Nigerian Army is currently engaged in several theaters of operation with corresponding demand on logistics. The thus behooves on all the combat service support calls to find ingenious and workable pathways of efficiently supporting the Nigerian Army in this numerous operations. While well, a lot has been done in the past, more still needs to be done to enhance logistic support for our operations in spite of limited resources. I therefore urge you all to ensure that we drive maximum benefits from this training week. As we project into the future with optimism, our key priorities will be to maintain an all-out operational readiness through improved training, recruitment of personnel, modernization of equipment, and better welfare for our troops. Let me therefore affirm the commitment of the President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, to providing the required support for the Nigerian Army. Oga Governor Kong commissioned the groundbreaking of Muhammad Buhari Auditorium under the leadership of Lieutenant General F. Yahaya, the Chief of Army Staff. This night, the Ogbongia informates Way TMC TV, Kari Kong My name is Ehimema Ikimin from Benin. <laughs>